everybody out there, I'm Carolina Romer and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody had a great holiday out there. In today's segment, we get out and we find some really great finds. Some that are just mind-blowing that they're sitting out in thrift store shelves. So today, I visit a couple of my local thrift stores in the area to find product to flip for a profit on eBay. From retro finds to everyday use items. At the end of the segment, we even find a piece of furniture to flip on Facebook. So you know what this means. Let's get out there and run the wilds. It's the running of the bulls, the opening of the thrift store. Man, does grandma here have her running shoes on. She is booking it. She throws that purse back and puts it in turbo mode. You know she got what she was going for. Now let's start off. We start off here in toys. I'm not seeing much. I see a lot of toddler toys. I do see some Transformers, but they ended up being New Age. I do take a glimpse and see some action figures, so I go ahead and grab those. And they actually ended up being vintage Masters of the Universe from the 80s. The power to be masters of the universe. Unfortunately, these were not complete, so they won't sell that high. If they were complete, they would sell in the 40s. And if they were still boxed, they would sell about the hundreds. Now, looking at these new age Transformers, they're not really that great as the vintage ones from the late 80s. So I pass on those. Heading over to the backpacks, I catch eye of this Low Pro camera backpack. It was the Low Pro Fast Pack. It was a, just a great backpack for carrying all your camera essentials. It had pockets, all kinds of compartments for carrying lenses, cameras, laptops, and it was in great shape. Uh, I ended up picking this one up. There was slight damage to one of the side pockets, so it did decrease the value just a little bit. Over in shoes, I'm looking around, and I find this new brand I've never heard of, and it's a Bolo brand. I believe, if I'm saying it correctly, Zero Boots. They were the Hunter Green color, and they were only 6 bucks. This is definitely a Bolo brand. They were a little dirty. I get home and I do clean them up to like new condition. They do look great. There was tons of tread left on the bottom of the soles. There was no wear. I checked the backs for wear and they look great. So I definitely picked these up. To tell also whether a shoe is in great condition is you check that rear heel, how much of wear there are, and the inside soles. Now onto the glass case. I first off spot this Marantz microphone, but they had 15 on it and it was only going for 30 bucks, so I passed. Then I see the glistening of the gold cartridge. I didn't ask for assistance. I dove in. Three bucks for Zelda for the NES. Wow, what a wild find this was. I've already sold this like right when I listed it. It sold immediately. There's two things I love finding when I'm out thrifting, and that's vintage video games and vintage toys. Hands down, just a great, awesome find. Now, heading over to the books, I find this Haynes Manual. Now, Haynes Manuals are a 50-50. Some can be really good, and some can just not be worth picking up. But this one was coming up ranging around $28 to around $45 on the Soul Comps. So this was a definite pickup for me. Now in our thrift store, our hardcover books sell for a dollar and our paperback books sell for around $0.50. Cent. So I definitely picked this up for a dollar. Now, onto some other books. I uh, checked the children's books, and I see this whole lot of pink books. And I'm just curious, so I go in to come to find out that it's actually a vintage Barbie book collection from the makers of Groyleer. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. 
but there was a whole set here of about 34 books so I ended up picking these up I paid a dollar a piece but books ship media mail and with this much weight I'll probably pay about four dollars and fifty cents in shipping so I definitely grabbed this whole lot of Barbie books what a great little find that was in the book section now, moving on to some Christmas items. Our Christmas was 50% off, so all the items you see, I'm getting for 50% off. This first item I find is a cast iron Santa Claus doorstop. I picked that up for five bucks. That was a great little score. Then I see some Starbucks mugs. Some Starbucks mugs can be really great, and some just aren't worth messing with. This Christmas holiday green holly was going for around 28 to 30 bucks and I find this set of three Starbucks tree coffee cups and I've already sold the lot of three for $31 and I only paid a dollar for each mug then on the other side of the shelf I see this Scentsy warmer I only paid four bucks for it. It was a retired Scentsy Christmas tree warmer. Always look out for your retired Scentsy warmers. They can go for some pretty good bucks. This next item was a really great find. I see this 1970s Atlantic Mold ceramic Christmas tree. This is a great find. These sell well. This one was missing some lights, but I've already ordered some replacements. Now this one won't be valued as much, it'll be decreased a little bit because there was a chip inside. But it is also hidden with the top of the tree. And remember there's a lot of reproductions of these out there, so always look carefully. And I only paid five bucks for this, wow. Please remember to like and subscribe the video because it helps push the video out there so others like you can find it and also find other great things to be able to flip on eBay for a profit. Now looking over, I see this CD tower hidden behind some furniture. It is actually a wood carved CD tower that holds about 29 CDs. CD towers, for some reason, if they hold more than 25 CDs, are selling like hotcakes right now. I don't know what it is. It's, it's just a thing right now. But this had a beautiful floral and bird inlay on the side. I paid $25, so I did pay up for this. But I'm thinking about listing it for around $25. 125 to 145 dollars this next find was actually a shocker i've never found one of these but it was a blinko water bottle amethyst they make these in other colorways and they can range anywhere from 40 to 200 dollars depending on the colorway great find there now i kind of regret this next buy it was just a first time seeing something like this so it was just a pulse buy and I, only, I paid eight bucks for it. I should not have bought this. I kind of regret buying this. But it's this vintage mid-century modern ashtray paperweight. It only goes for about $30. So paying $8 for it plus shipping. And it wasn't any good as you can see with that rough bottom to it. So I should have passed on this. But I bought it anyway. Now going over, I catch a glimpse on more paperweights, so I go and check them out. I see this really awesome galaxy style, but I take a look at the bottom, and it was kind of chipped up, so I put it back down. I see this clear apple, but I kind of tend to stay away from clear glass because it just doesn't sell for me. Now this is a bolo item for me. I paid $8, these Movo Globes. Mine didn't have the stand, which will decrease the value a little bit. But man, what a great find. This is definitely a bolo item to keep your eye out on. Now looking over my shoulder, I actually catch eye of another paperweight. And it was by Wheaton Village. I found none listed or sold, but found others in different colorways selling around the $60 to $80 mark. So I'll probably list this one around $71. And I only paid $8 for it. So that was another great find of a paperweight. Hey, apologies, but I just wanted to cut in for a second and talk about paperweights. What is three things you want to look for on a paperweight? You know, because... 
And unfortunately, there's a lot of unvaluable paperweights out there. But let's talk about what to look for on the valuable ones. So first off, you want to look for a polished bottom. You don't want to have a flat or mate or rough bottom. You want to kind of stay away from those. Then you want to look to see if it has a maker's mark on the bottom or an artist's signature. Then you want to spend a little time doing research on it. And you might be surprised what you come up with. You know, some could range from the 50s all the way up to the top hundreds. You know, take a bite out of that. Now, in another thrift store, I see this driver sticking out. I go to check it out. It's a tailor-made R9 460, and it's a right-handed driver. And, man, was it in great shape. Always keep your eyes out for tailor-made pings and Scotty Camerons, putters and drivers. With irons, you kind of want to always find the iron sets. And I only paid $5 for this driver. Now, finding something that was hiding behind the wall here, I find these water filters. They were by every drop. And this actually shocked me when I looked these up. They were only $250 a piece, and they were going around $55 a piece. And I find two of them. So, wow. It's a great item to find. Water filters always sell really fast. They have a fast sell-through rate, so keep your eyes out for them. I only find two items in this thrift store, so I head to another thrift store. And I go looking through these cords, maybe to hopefully find a GameCube AV cord. They go for wild amounts of money. But I end up finding this remote. Always keep your eye out for replacement remotes and look them up. This genuine OEM Harman Kardon remote was definitely a great buy for only a dollar. Now walking through the glass aisle of this next thrift store, I see this plate that catches my eye. It's a uranium plate. And it was only three bucks, and this thrift store had a 30% off sale, so I only paid like two bucks. But this is a personal buy. If you did not know, uranium glass glows under a UV light. And this one is definitely going in my private collection. As you can see here, for an example, under the UV light, it glows this beautiful green color. Look at those inlays. And you can pick up these flashlights. I usually carry a flashlight, but you can pick them up at Amazon. But as you can see why uranium glass sells pretty well on eBay, because it's just a great item to show off as a collection at night. You know, if you put in a glass case with some UV lights, it just glows so green. Now for our last great find of the day. I'm walking around this thrift store and I see this amazing mid-century modern vintage lazy boy from the 70s. And it was avocado green. It just had this amazing aesthetic look to it. I do end up picking this up. I only paid $7. It was 10 but the store store was 30% off. It did have a small hole in the cushion, but everything else was in great condition. Now, of course, I won't list this on eBay, but to, if you have the space, these are great items to pick up and list on Facebook Marketplace as a local pickup buy. Because mid-century modern furniture is really hot right now. People just want that vintage look. Uh, I'll probably list this around 200 to 225 on Facebook Marketplace. As is, this is the end. Remember to please like and subscribe to the video as it gets it pushed out there for more viewers to be able to view and watch this video. As always, thank you and remember to roam the wilds.